What's up everyone, HippoTC here, and I am very excited to launch a brand new guide series for Sea of Thieves. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks on getting started in Sea of Thieves for 2021, and on top of that, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy 25k gold in the Maiden Voyage. So let's get started. With Sea of Thieves, there is so much to do, and the list of options continue to grow as developers keep adding to the game. From new world events, voyage types, and even boss encounters. I know it can feel a little overwhelming to set sail. That is why I put together this video. I want to help you get started as quickly as possible so you can set sail and start plundering. The first thing you want to do upon loading the game is to set sail on the Maiden Voyage. This is an introduction to the game and the story along with your weapons, gear, and ship. It is really an incredible way to learn about the game and get your feet wet before jumping into adventure mode for the first time. Also, while you are on the Maiden Voyage, you can grab an easy 25k gold by going to the secret Pirate Legend stash. You will need a key which you can find in the top of the island in the water. Take this key to the bottom hole of the shipwreck, open the hatch, and climb on down to the Pirate Legend's secret stash. Go ahead and help yourself to that gold, because this is a thieving game after all. Once you complete the Maiden Voyage, you should have the basic skills needed to set sail with the rest of us scurvy dogs. A few things to keep in mind though, every time you load up the game, you will have an option between a galleon, a brig, or a sloop. You will also have the choice of the open crew, which means you will be sailing with strangers, or a close, which means you sail alone or with those you invite. My advice would be to start on a closed crew and select the sloop. The sloop is an incredible starter ship for learning. While the brig and galleon are larger, they're harder to maneuver and require more people to sail. The sloop is also the ship you were just on during the maiden voyage, so you're already a little familiar with it. Every time you start the game, you will load into a new server with a fresh ship at the outpost. Now it's time to stock up your ship by finding the various barrels around the outpost and putting them in the barrels of your ship. A well-stocked ship can mean the difference between sinking or victory, so take the time and stock up your ship with as many supplies as possible. You can spend some of your Maiden Voyage money on clothes, weapons, or tools to customize your pirate by visiting any of these shops, or you can customize your ship by purchasing items from the shipwright. Any items that are purchased will need to be equipped. You equip items by opening the correct chests. There is a chest for weapons, clothing, vanity items, and even pets on your ship. However, customizing your ship must be done before you leave the outpost. The next thing you will want to decide is what trading company do you want to start leveling up first. There are the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, Merchant Alliance, Reapers, and Hunter's Call. Each provide different challenges and I will create guide videos specifically for each one. But for now, my recommendation would be to start with the Gold Hoarders, which is the Little Green Tent, as in my opinion are the most fun. I mean, who doesn't want to get a map, sail to an island, and dig up treasure by finding where X marks the spot? Anyways, talk to any of the folks at the trading companies to get the voyages from them. Once you pick up a voyage, you need to go to your ship, put it down on the voyage table, and vote on it to start it up. You will then be given the maps you need to complete it, which you can access from your quest dial. Once you know where you need to go, you can mark the locations on the ship map and set sail for adventure. There will be a lot of things you will probably run into in your early adventures, so just be prepared for a fight. A few tips that will hopefully keep you alive, always have food, planks, and cannonballs on you at all times. This will help make things a little bit easier if you get into a fight. Now, as a new player, once you have some loot, go to the nearest outpost to turn it in right away. You want to make sure you can sell it before someone else steals it. Different types of treasure go to different trading companies. Treasure chests and gold items go to the gold hoarder. Skulls go to the order of souls. Crates of goods go to the merchants. And mermaid gems are accepted anywhere. Now, if you are not fortunate enough to make it to an outpost before another thieving player comes along, the best advice I have is to shoot first and ask questions later. Seriously, don't trust another pirate as they most likely are just there to sink you and steal your loot. So always turn in as soon as possible and keep an eye out for other ships. If you want to check out my top PvP tips and tricks video, I cover a lot of these things that will help you in your encounters on the seas. 
And there you have it. Some of the basics that you need to know to get started in the Sea of Thieves. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you would like to learn more, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new guide videos. This is the first video in a whole new series of guide videos I'm working on designed to help you become a pirate legend. Also, don't forget to share what you would like to see me make a guide video on next in the comments below. Happy sailing, you scurvy dog, and welcome to the Sea of Thieves.